Camden, home of punk culture, great nightlife, lots of gigs, and lots of people who look like they need a good wash. Also, Camden Market, which for many years has been more dragon tattoos and piercings than good food. However, change the foot. This is Curb, 35 of the best street food traders in London, all in one place, and we're about to meet Will Lee, <laughs> owner of Killer Diller, one of the street food stands here, and he's gonna show us some of the, his favorites. You hungry, Will? Let's go. This is Will. How you doing, man? Killer Diller, talk to me. We um, took the format of a quesadilla, and basically we just went a bit crazy with it, so we shoved whatever that we'd like in them. So we started out with like a smoked short rib, kimchi, blue cheese nice. one. Um, so we've done all those kind of quite unusual things. Like ours are very not traditional. Authentic food is really hard to do, right? So yeah. we just wanted to do something that was much more fun than that. All of our quesadillas now have hash browns in, because like... All of them. All of them. Yeah. yeah, everywhere we go, we now put hash browns in them. Yeah, why not? Who doesn't love hash browns? We never have enough hash browns yeah, in Yeah, tell me about it, isn't it? Pork, pork, loads of cheese, chronic amount of cheese, pickles, hash browns, peppers? Mm, pickle chilies, close. Pickle chilies! And chorizo in this one as well. And chorizo. With barbecue sauce. It's like buying a pizza and putting all the toppings. Number one, done. She was right. right. Crispy squid, pastel mayo. Very 2016, very Pinterest, Levy tumbler. This is, this is little baby that's squid, marinated milk, and it's dry. That's, that's the best I've had it. Um, the marinating, the, what it goes into, and that is just like perfectly crispy on the outside. And there's got some dance. And this is Lucy. Okay, nice to meet you. So the mayo has all had to be pastel coloured. So we've got pastel pink, which is the miso. There is pastel orange, which is the spaghetti. And there is pastel green, which is the garlic one. Yay! Yay. So this is Joel, and this is his cue. Um, just really good quality hot dogs. Yeah. Like everything about it is good quality, really good quality sausage, little casings, handmade demi brioche buns. So it's really just taking the whole like, idea of like hot dogs not being particularly great and made with dodgy ingredients and just flipping it on its heads and just, uh, yeah, selling some really tasty stuff. Yeah. Sold. Yeah. Sold. Sold. You know, it's a hot dog, but with bells and whistles, man. It just tastes wicked. This is the yam dog. Yam dog. Buns nice and hot because they steamed it. Nice and crisp on the bottom. Check out her undercarriage, eh? I reckon now we take a 30 second breather and have a little drink from the guys over at Soda Bar. Yeah, boy. Yeah. They make their stuff fresh, really, really yeah. tasty. Yeah, we're gonna have a little soda break now. They make these banging homemade sodas. So you can see all the cordials over there. They've got a soda pump under there, which comes out of these taps. Kind of like a gigantic soda stream. <laughs> yeah, a bit like that, a bit like that. Like a grown up <laughs> soda stream. Why is that called Square Root? What's, what's, why Square Root? I guess it's probably because we're both quite geeky people. We both oh, have science okay. degrees. Oh, just... yeah. Can we try some? Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. I'll make you one. Amazing. Thank you very much. Mango and laugh. I'm gonna to have to twos up on them. Oh, that's oh. nice. Fresh straw for me. Yeah. She's beautiful. That's the money. That's good. Yeah. Wow, that's really amazing. Yeah. yeah. This that's is like a real Rolls Royce mango Rubicon. Don't drink it all. Which one was mine? Yeah. <laughs> what a fruity goodness. I love my fried cheese, and that's why I really like Oli Barbars, because they take halloumi, which is already wicked, and then they deep fry it and cover it with like spices and pomegranates and different sauces. You can eat here for a month solid every meal and have something different. That's what's wicked. Get it down, you lads. Oh. All kinds of good, isn't it? Mmm. Can make most things better by deep frying it. By the clock, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Blessing and a curse from this place. <laughs> kind of just can't, you never get to where you're going because there's too much good shit on the way there. Thanks very much, man. Thank you very much, dude. Nice. It's so tender, isn't it? Yeah, it's got mm. like super crunchy and crispy. So we do Filipino inspired food. Yeah. So we've got a chicken satay curry. So nice. we take a Filipino satay and then add coconut milk. So we create the satay, add coconut milk and use it as a curry base. And then freshen it with peas and pineapple and spring onion and coriander. Yeah. Very good, mate. Right. Yeah, I'd love to try some. They make an actual satay sauce, cook it in coconut milk, reduce it down, boom. You haven't just got the chicken satay little dipping thing, you've got a whole and look, dish of it. Oh. Sorry if I'm not eating though. We've finished your will, we have to drop him off at home, back down there. Sometimes I sleep up on the shelf to make a difference. But <laughs> you come down here and you can't really go wrong, there's so much good stuff around. Yeah. Thanks so much, man. No worries, man. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, so this is how you do all good high five passion. Sort of like that. <laughs> 
there you have it. This place opens seven days a week. There's literally something here for everyone. There's vegan stuff over there, there's sweet stuff, savory stuff. Cool, now let's get your belly button pierced, Will.